Hey there, Michael Griffiths here, founder of Referral Marketing Guru, and welcome to this week's Get More Referrals Today podcast. Uh, this week, I want to talk about something which, I don't know, might not be overly popular, but hey, it's the truth. And it took me over a decade to actually probably realize this to the extent as what I do now. And, and that is, honestly, it doesn't matter what your marketing activity is. It doesn't matter whether you're doing SEO, whether you're doing pay-per-click, whether you're doing Facebook ads, whether you're going to networking events, whether you're doing referrals, whether you're doing partnerships, whether you're doing sponsorships, radio, TV, the list goes on. It actually doesn't matter unless you get this first part right. And for most people, they don't get it right because it's not uh, really popular. So we don't tend to focus on it. And it's not until you actually do focus on it and you realize how important it is that you actually start to realize that the rest of the marketing stuff, mm, it's not as important as what we make it out to be. Well, it's not as important as what your marketers make it out to be because they have to. That's what they're selling. And if you ain't buying, then they don't have a business. So what is it? Well, simply put, it is your story. It is why do you do what you do? Why are you passionate about it? What lights you up? Why do you get excited? And until you can tell that great story, it makes it really difficult for the people on the other side, your potential clients, to resonate with you, therefore respect you, and be inspired to be able to use you. And when you break it down, that is why someone buys from you. Sure, they want to get results. But there's lots of people that can get them results. So whatever it is you do right now, you're not the only person that does it. You're not the only person that can get results for them. So why do they pick you over the next person, over the next person, over the next person? Now, there's a bunch of people that are going to pick based on price. Obviously, you don't want them as your clients anyway. So what else do they pick on? Well, they can only pick on one thing. Do I resonate with you? And this is where what I've seen over the last 12 months in particular, that the majority of consultants, the majority of service providers just don't get it. Because simply put, I don't care that you do Facebook ads. I don't care that you take coaches from five figures to six figures or six figures to seven figures, or you help someone get a seven figure business. Because I also know another 30 people who do exactly the same thing. I don't care that you're a copywriter. I don't care that you're an accountant. I don't care that you're in HR. I don't care that you're a life coach or a business coach. Because I also know hundreds of others that do exactly the same thing. Are you better? Who knows? In your opinion, you are. In someone else's opinion, you probably aren't. But it doesn't really matter. What matters is, do I resonate with you? Because that's when I make a decision to use you over anybody else. So how do I get to actually resonating with you? Well, you've got to start doing a better job of telling me your story, of telling me why you help the people you help. What was it? What was that moment in time where you went, you know what, I'm sick and tired of this happening, so I'm going to do it this way and make it better? How well do you tell that? How well do you tell why you do what you do? How well do you tell the impact you want to make? How well do you tell? That's what really matters. And honestly, we just don't tell well enough, if at all. We don't tell because it's like, 
well, it's really got nothing to do with my business. It's got nothing to do with the result I get. It's got nothing to do with what I'm actually doing. It's like, no, it couldn't be so further from the truth because someone can't use you until they know you, like you, trust you, which comes down to the simple fact of resonate with you. They need to resonate with your personality. They need to resonate with how you are. They need to resonate with the solution you have. They need to resonate with the way you do things. So anyone who's caught up on having to dot all the I's and cross all the T's and spell a word perfectly, they're not going to resonate with me. Because honestly, I don't give a hoot about it. I care more about getting an end result. And if I've got to go back and fix something or change something six, seven, ten times, so be it. I want to keep on moving. But the people have got to get every duck in a row first before they move, hey, they're probably not my people and I'm not their person. And that's absolutely fine. Because the whole thing about getting someone to resonate with you is that you get your people running towards you as fast as possible and you get the wrong people running away from you even faster. But because we've got this scarcity mindset, I I can't niche down or I, I've got to have this service and that service and that service oh, and a bit of that because then maybe I'll get more and more clients. Where in fact, no, you won't get anybody because it's even harder to resonate with you. So that scarcity mindset of I need to be everything to everyone is actually the thing that's allowing you to be nothing to no one. So ask yourself this, why do you do what you do? Why do you do what you do? So if I look at our why, to inspire consultants all around the globe to have a more remarkable and profitable business. That's my simple why. That's what lights me up. That's what gets me excited. It's not how do I find my next client. It's not how do I run Facebook ads perfectly. It's not how do I go to networking events. It's not how do I get more referrals. Because honestly, I don't care. It's bigger than that. And until you start seeing that it's bigger than that, you're going to end up, in the end, really playing such a smaller game and struggling. If your business is struggling, I can guarantee that these things that we're talking about right now, you ain't clear on. And if you're clear on it, you're certainly not telling the world about it. So why do you do what you do? What's your R-Y? If I said for you to write on a piece of paper, R-Y is what? Like I said, R's to inspire consultants all over the globe to have a more remarkable business and therefore a more profitable business. And that's all I've got to focus on because then it ties in with our mission. And our mission to inspire a million consultants every year to play a bigger game in their business, to win every day, to be more profitable than ever before so they can contribute and help change society for the better. So every decision that we make comes down to, is it on our mission? And if it's not, then we don't need to worry about it. When we get this sort of podcast request, okay, is that going to help our mission? When we get to be in that publication, is that going to help our mission? When we get to be asked to speak at that particular conference, will that help our mission? When we're sharing things, is that going to help? Our consultants to be more remarkable? Is that going to help them win every day? Is that going to help them be more profitable? Is that going to help them play a bigger game? And if not, don't talk about it. So when you get clear on those two things, then the third part is you can start getting clearer on telling the story of why. You know the story. 
I know why that that's so passionate to me. And after being a teacher for seven odd plus years and seeing kids get left behind in the education system, see rescued animals not have a voice, see so much in society that business owners could help change because they're passionate about so many different causes, but they can't change it unless they're winning themselves. And if I could help them win a little bit, then they're going to be able to go on and help create this ripple effect throughout society. And nothing lights me up more than knowing that things that we talk about or the things that we share or the things that we do will have this ripple effect through the places that I probably will never even hear of. But how exciting that we can do our bit for one person who then goes on and does their bit for one, two, three, ten, a hundred, a thousand other people. And having been in a teaching background, having been in an elite level basketball background, I know that the impact that we can make, I see it every single day in that just one little thing gets said to somebody that can completely change their life. And instead of them going down the wrong path, they go on and do remarkable things and make an impact on hundreds of more people's lives. And that lights me up. I don't need an alarm to get up. To know that that's the sort of effect that we can have on the world by just doing our little bit. I'm sick and tired of seeing business owners struggle Simply because who do they listen to? There's so much crap out there, in the nicest possible way, but there is just so much crap of who do they listen to? What do they do? No wonder they've had bad experience after bad experience. And it's not through people trying to be crappy, but hey, the person that's been in business for three months and really done nothing, what are they really going to be able to help you do? They haven't even worked it out themselves. But then they can come along and, hey, listen to one or two things and just goes, huh, right, that now makes sense. Let me go. And then they change their business and they become more profitable. And they can hire people. So now they're putting food on other people's tables. They're helping people keep roofs over their heads. See, it's not governments that change society. It's business owners, it's entrepreneurs like you that help make an impact throughout society. So at our front end, if we can help people to be able to do that, to be able to win every single day, to be able to play a bigger game than ever before, to be more profitable than ever before, so that they can go on and help change society for the better, as I said, it sends tingles down my spine to know that that's what we've got the ability to do. So let's circle back. Why? What's your mission? What's the story behind why you do what you do? Start sharing that. Because when people start resonating with you, that's when they start to go, okay, I can see this person's solution. I like how this person operates. I get this person. This person would get me. They're my type of person. And that's when they can start using you. So if you're just focusing right now on going, we're great at Facebook ads. We're great at SEO. We're great at building websites. We're great at doing apps. We're great at HR. We're great at accounting. We're great at bookkeeping. Honestly, who cares? because there are also hundreds of others that say exactly the same thing. So you've got to start doing a better job of getting people to resonate with you. You've got to start doing a better job of showing people who you are, why you're that. You're not trying to be everything to anyone. In the end, your bunch of people have already turned this off and went, what a moron. And that's fine because constantly think 
how do you get people to run towards you that are your type of people and the wrong people to run away from you as fast as possible? They've got their own type of person. And that's great. I'm really happy for them to go and find them. And that's how you've got to be too. Final thing before we wrap this up. I think this is really important. When you start to get your why on top of just simply, we get results for our clients. You're supposed to get results for your clients. When you get above that, that it's not just about helping your clients, it's about helping greater society, it's about helping everyone. That's when all of a sudden, something's going to tick inside your head. This light bulb's going to go on. And how you do things and what you do, you're going to come from a completely different space than probably where you're at right now. So I can't wait to hear when that day happens, if it hasn't already happened. So a couple of little things. If you haven't got a 112 guide, how to get 100 clients in 12 months, it's only eight clients a month, go to www.100in12.com. The uh, last thing that you might or might not have uh, gone and done yet, how remarkable and profitable are you in your business? We've got this great little scorecard I've actually just finished updating over the last few days. Uh, Super proud of it, honestly. How remarkable and profitable are you in your business? Take the scorecard to find out. And depending on what your answers are, hey, I'm happy to just jump on. Let's do a 10-minute call, and I'll go through the answers and share my insights. Because again, this isn't about how do we... How do we make sales? It's not about that. What it's about is how do we help a million consultants every year by what we share, by what we do through our social platforms, through speaking, through being on other people's podcasts and webinars and other people's conferences and writing within publications. And if our inspiration can just help one person do something a little bit different or a little bit better, that that means they go on and they grow. They get to hire another person. There's another employed person in society. That means you're helping their family. You're putting food on their table. Or maybe you choose to go and help a charity that's close to you. Help the local school, the local sporting team. But if we get to do one little thing, share one little thing that allows a business to go on and do that, we're doing our bit. And that's what excites me. That's why I do what I do. Hey, hopefully that's been super helpful, guys. Uh, Love feedback. Wherever you happen to be listening to this, uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you um, rate if you're on iTunes, Apple Play, Spotify. Uh, It's how we get to stay as the number one podcast in referral marketing um, category, as we have been for the last five years. We'd really appreciate that. And as always, there's no fee except for you to share this with someone else that you think would benefit. Because the more people that we get to be able to give great messages to that can then go on and help improve their business, hey, we're all doing our little bit for making society a better place. Okay, guys, that's it from me. Have an amazing week. Look forward to catching you next week. Take care all.